Shah. Good to see you again. Good to see you. What's happening? What do we got? What's going I'm, I'm on? I can't at, wait I'm, to hear. I'm still at it. You know, I I, I lose sleep at night thinking, I got to tell this to Chuck. I got it. Just so you know, I'm thinking. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I'm I don't believe that for you, Chuck. <laughs> I don't believe that for one second. <laughs> but I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> I just got to straighten some things out. Okay. That I think they... Some people, not everybody, but some people, I think, have this all confused, and I want to straighten it out. All right. It's the difference between mass, weight, and density. Oh uh, well, okay. Now, for okay. without a doubt, there are, there's a lot of people that get that confused. I just want to. Okay, so generally, if you go on a diet, you want to lose weight, right? Absolutely. So what? That's not what actually what's actually happening. It is, but it's not the root of what's happening. What you're really doing is you're losing mass. You yeah. want there to be less of you tomorrow than there is today. If only I could keep the parts that I want. <laughs> if, if, if you consume fewer calories today than you burned calories today, you will lose weight. Okay? It's that simple. Okay. And I, I've joked about this. A, a weight loss book written by a physicist would have one sentence. Consume calories at a slower rate then you burn them. That's there the entire, go. that's it. But so if tomorrow you want less of you than there is today, you're losing mass. Okay. okay. The mass is the sum of all the particles that comprise Chuck. Okay. okay. That's your mass. I could take you and put you on the moon, you'll weigh less. But you still have all of your particles. Okay, then that is where I need to move. When can okay. we do this? <laughs> so if you weigh 180 pounds, I don't know how much you weigh, but let's call you 180 pounds on Earth. Okay. On the moon, you weigh one-sixth of that. Right. So if, uh, you weigh 30 pounds. Nice. So, if, Chuck, you want to lose 150 pounds? Your nutrition will say, no, Chuck, you'll die. No, I'm just going to go to the moon for a okay. day, weigh hey, myself, no. I'm 150 pounds. <clears throat> so your weight is not itself the measure of how much mass you have. Okay. All right. You also weigh a little less at the top of a mountain because you're farther away from the center of the earth than you do in Death Valley where you're at a low point relative to other places on earth. So if you get on a scale at the top of Everest, you're going to mm -hmm. weigh less than you yeah. would on that same scale in Death Valley. In Death Valley. Correct. Well, okay. Weigh less. Okay. Right? People at the equator weigh a little less than they would if they're visiting Santa Claus. Oh, that's cause because there's a lot of sun down there, and they got to stay in bikini shape all year that's long. What that, that, oh, that's, that's why. Right. That's really what okay, it's about. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, for another, we do another explainer video of why there's actually very little sun on the equator. Okay. Um, it's it's one of the that fact that's where you find your greatest rainforests. Um, sun is not happening on the equator, but that's a whole other conversation. It's a that's a that's a climactic conversation we will have. I promise. All right. So, so, but I get your sentiment. It's. It's, it's south. It's of where south we are. and it's warm. And it's warm. Yeah. All right. So, so the equator is the speed at which you are moving is faster than at other latitudes. Mm -hmm. People on the equator are moving about a thousand miles an hour. We here in New York, we're moving about eight hundred miles an hour. So that centrifugal force makes them lighter than we are. Gotcha. So all of this is affecting your weight, but it's not affecting your mass. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want to lose weight in any zone. <laughs> then lose mass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Just to be clear about that. All okay? right. So weight so, loss programs are actually mass loss programs. Okay. And so weight then I, is, is about forces then. It's Correct. Not a, it's not it, about... The, it's the definition of weight. Weight is right. the force of gravity on you. Well, whose gravity are we talking about? Earth or the, or, or, or the sun or Venus or the moon? So you find out what, is, what are the conditions of that force of gravity on you in that place not only among planets, but even different places on Earth. And then you've got your weight. And that weight is related to how many molecules of Chuck exist. But in the end of the day, if you want to weigh less, what you really mean is you want less mass. You what? want less, less Chuck mass. tomorrow than you had today. So there just want go. to put that out there. Something okay. better. That, right. Everybody can agree on that. Less Everybody. Chuck tomorrow. Less Chuck tomorrow. <laughs> 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 it's like... Uh, uh, we didn't. We don't. We don't show you the the mails we the mail we get. Um, when will Chuck disappear? <laughs> we, get, we, we withhold those from you, Chuck. Right. <clears throat> okay. So now we talk about how heavy something is. Okay. Okay. So when we think of something floating on water, 
generally the idea of it being heavy is not that's not the same thought correct no, no of course if, if it's heavy it sinks okay so now let's take let's take uh you know uh you know let's go to who's the guy who splits wood sections into firewood uh, lumberjack. lumberjack whatever that is okay mm -hmm. go take one of these one Paul Bunyan guys. Paul Bunyan cylinders of wood. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's going to be really heavy. We know this. Take it, plunk it down in a swimming pool. What happens to it? It floats. It floats. Okay. Even though it's super heavy. <laughs> okay. It is heavy, but it floats. Right. Okay? So, how do you get around that? What do we, let's, let's give more examples of that. Okay? Um, Ivory soap. Nobody, who, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, ivory soap floats. Right. There and you go. as far as I know, it's the only soap that floats. I did an experiment when I was younger, but I haven't oh, really? checked lately, but I did test this. Yeah, ivory what? soap floats, all the other soaps so sink. sink. Okay. okay. So, why that should be a selling point, I don't know. Hey. But it, in its day, it was a selling point. And then it was, it was 88 one hundredths percent pure. Right. And it was like, pure what? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> You know, right. I, I, I remember thinking that as a kid. But any, every soap long predates me, but I remember thinking all of that. All right. So, heavy cream is lighter than skim milk. Heavy cream is lighter than skim milk. And you know why? Because it floats on the skim milk. That's well, how it, you get skim milk. <laughs> there you go. The cream floats the cream to the top. Rises to the top. You skim okay. it off, and you got some heavy cream. So we say it's heavier, but we don't really mean heavier. Heavier to me is the absolute weight. How heavy is it? Can right. I pick it up? What so we mean there, is thinner. With, with, no, it's not thinner. Well, it's, it's more. Less it's not as dense. viscous. Less dense. Okay, okay. Vis viscosity is no. I should have added that. We'll get to viscosity in a minute. Okay. He heavy cream is less dense than water th okay. than, than skim milk. Right. If you are less dense than something else, you float. Oh, there you go. There it is. No, nothing else nothing matters. Nothing else matters. Right. Okay? You will float. So heavy cream is, we would say it's lighter than skim milk, but that's a little deceptive. If you want to be precise, you say it's less dense than skim milk. There you go. Therefore, it floats. Okay. So this is the fight I, well, it wasn't a fight, the encounter I had in a Pasadena coffee shop when I ordered hot chocolate with whipped cream and the hot chocolate came and there was no whipped cream anywhere to be found. And I said, um, server, where is the whipped cream? They said, oh, we put it on. I said, where is it? Oh, it must have sunk to the bottom. At which point I said, either you are lying uh -oh. or the laws of physics that apply to the rest of the universe do not apply in your coffee shop. And so he got all gruffy and indignant, and, and he went and, by and brought cream with him, okay, and then plunked it down, and it took one bob, and sort of, and it floated. I said, thank you for my whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if that became, like, a story, you know, because I'm sure waitstaff tell stories. <laughs> right. But that's what happened. So he's thinking it's heavy, it probably fell to the bottom, and would choose to lie at rather... <laughs> lie about it thinking that i didn't know what the hell i was talking about and when you took it away you looked at him and you went science bitch <laughs> <laughs> you just got scienced you just got scienced scienced <laughs> um so a couple more things about weight mass and, and density. density so um you realize that logs float, all right? Right. So if you're going to say, if I want, it, but I don't float very well, all right? So if I want to float on the water, I'm going to use a log. So why don't I get a big log and then hollow it out? Okay. Okay. These are the first canoes. Right. Okay. The canoes are made of wood. You ho And you know the canoe's going to float. I'm going to get in it, and we're, we're good to go. Well, why don't you make a boat out of steel? Well, I can't do that because the steel will sink. That's not a boat. That's not going to work. No, let's be clever about it. Okay? By the way, if you make a boat out of steel, it's then impervious to the weapons of other boats. 
oh my gosh, what a military advance this would be. This mm -hmm. in the 19th century, I think it was, where the first people figured out I can make a boat out of things that are impervious to cannonballs. Okay? Right. And so, whereas I can make a boat out of wood, then it just busts through the wood. Right. So, what matters is not the density of the material. What matters is the density of everything that is sitting below water. Aha. Uh -huh. So, if I create a hull, only the outer edge of the hull is made of steel. What's everything else inside the hull made out of? Something else. <laughs> no. Uh, it, air. Air. <laughs> air. Right. It's, a, okay. it's like a ballast. That it's okay. You, no, no. Ballast has its different purpose. Right. Because you want it's to stabilize. Stabilize. Okay. Right. So you put some other, you put some heavy things just at the very bottom of the hull. And that keeps okay? it in position. And that, keep, that, keeps the, that keeps it in position. So that'd be ballast. Okay. Uh, and a lot of the cobblestone in lower Manhattan that built the roads was ballast in ships that came from Europe. Okay. And then they offload that and built, and, built roads with it. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of it, uh, not only, and other th things as well. But point is you, so now the, the density is what is the total mass divided by the total volume? Okay. So okay. The density is grams per cubic centimeter or pounds per cubic inch. That's, that's, so those are the units of density. So let me get some units out there. So we've got the units of mass or grams and kilograms, and I'm not gonna tell you the unit of mass for the English system, okay? Um, and the unit, you're supposed to say, why not? Tell me. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, so seriously, what is, what, why wouldn't you give out the... Uh... Okay, the unit of mass in the English system is, is... slug. No. Yes, that's why I told you. I told you not to ask me. So, Ugh. so, so the mass, grams, kilograms, this sort of thing. That's so volume is the cubic of some of some length. So okay. cubic inch, cubic centimeter, cubic meter. Those right. are volumes. Density is the mass divided by the volume. Mass divided by volume. Gives okay, you so density. to see how that works. So if I have a certain <laughs> amount of mass and I put it in a smaller and smaller oh, volume, it becomes more and more dense. Yeah, yeah. So what happens that if I, if the denominator gets smaller? then the number gets bigger. It's bigger. So we get right. higher and higher density because you're right. cramming all of this into a smaller volume. Right. The volume gets bigger and bigger and bigger for the same amount of mass. Right. Then the you're density gets lower and lower and lower. So, you get okay, beach gotcha. balls and other right. things. Right, you're spreading okay. it out. Spreading it gotcha. out. So what I've done with the steel is I've put air in between the two steel sides of the boat. Mm -hmm. So now the density, the effective density, is the mass of the steel plus the mass of the air divided by the volume. And when right. I do that, I get something that's less dense than water, and right. the whole thing floats. So then it goes; it will only go down a certain amount in a the water. A certain amount that's in the water. That's it. That's it. And it, but it will float. Wow. So that's how you make boats out of steel, and that's how military ships were first put together. I mean, cool. The, 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 the indestructible type, right? So then you needed a weapon that can destroy the steel, and then you have the the, the eternal contest of warring factions. arms race arms race exactly yeah. exactly so so there there you have it Chuck so so we have mass density so anything that floats on water is simply less dense than water right and it doesn't matter how much it weighs or what it is it just has to be less dense than water it does nothing else matters wow that's cool and it could that's weigh a zillion pounds and it'll just it'll still float which is why my uncle Edward floats. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big man that's a fat brother i'm telling you oh right he's a now. big and fat but he he's a... well so so fat is less dense than than water and bones and muscle is more dense so if you float every time you just have way more fat than muscle and bone well there you have it good for you <laughs> uh, uncle eddie <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's no accident that that marine mammals have a lot of fat right Okay, the blubber, like as blubber. they call it, right? Yes, huh? So there's a lot of fat there, and that gives them buoyancy in the water. Yes. All right. Oh, right. by the way, what's an ice cube made out of? Water. But why do they float? Because they have air inside of them. I don't know. No. Well, sometimes uh, they do, but that's not. Oh, right. no. They expand. They expand. It's less dense right. than water. Right, so it's less dense than water. The water it used to be now takes up more volume. More right. So, so bigger so volume makes it less dense, so ice floats. There you go. You know, we should do an explainer on ice expanding. We should do that. We should do that. Not now. Not now. We got to. Oh, why, why not? Well, no, I guess we're done.
But we're done here. We're, we're done, done here. here. All, All right, right. Well, dude. looking forward to ice expanding then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for doing this with me, Chuck. Of course. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson here for Star Talk. Keep looking up.